Okay, ladies and gents, are we live? Welcome back to another Asian robot build. Today, I'm going to show you something real cool. All right. I've been working on the Dodge Master series. You've seen it on the past couple of streams. You know I'm doing serious testing. <coughs> Sorry. So, I have to finish the whole bottle, so you're going to have to deal with it. Anyway, um, I've been working on the Dodge Master series for every single weapon, right? And the one that it's ready right now is the Warpike. So you're going to love this. Parasitic Curse. Relentless. Relentless. Okay. Savage Wellspring as your special. Executioner Spearhead here. Okay. And Sovereign Sorrow. Okay. This is, this is, this is where it gets wild. Tempest will be your Omnicell of choice, as always. Shrike Zeal with a Zeal Cell. Spellbound Hood with Invigorated. You've got your Scrave Wing Jacket with an Adrenaline Cell. You've got Fiery Gauntlets with Acidic Cell. And Phalanx's Heat Sinks with a Fleet Footed Cell. Okay, what does this give you overall? Let's take a look. You've got plus 6 Adrenaline, alright? With Endurance, this is going to boost your base damage. Fleet Footed, movement speed when you dodge. Invigorated, movement speed when below 50% stamina. Relentless. This is the key. You wound something, you're going to get... Better Aether Rush duration and double the effects of Aether Rush. 30% extra attack speed, 30% move speed. You want that. Damage, 30% as well. Acidic. Okay. Half of your damage, <clears throat> half of your part damage becomes wounding damage. This is going to be helpful later on. I'll, sh I'll show you why. Endurance. Okay, this is just to boost adrenaline. Sharpen comes baseline with the Koshai. Uh, helps you deal more part damage anyway. And land uh, zeal improves the uh, Shrike zeal lantern. Okay. All right. Watch this. We're going to go into Fortune's Folly Hunting Grounds. And I will show you how this works um, in practice. But one thing I want to highlight is that if you examine the Tempest Cell, and I'm going to do this while we wait for the uh, place to load, a lot of people have actually asked me, why, like, why is it that they don't want to increase part damage too much? Okay. Take note that Tempest only increases 5% damage to unbroken parts. Keep that in mind. The damage is not part damage, but it only applies to unbroken parts. So if you want your movement speed to benefit Tempest at all, it has to hit an unbroken part. The more parts you break, the more of a moron you are because that's less killing power for you. Okay. Many dumbasses out there will tell you, Oh, I should put sharpen in. If I see those people in real life, okay, I'll take this hand. I'll slap them for not being able to read. And then I will literally, literally murder them and their families. Okay. Because that is how stupid they are. They should not genetically be allowed to, to breed. Okay. That, that's like, please. Okay. Games have descriptions for items read them unless unless there's some god-awful reason that you can't read them please dear god all right um we'll go toward the uh shrike now now that my little rant is over all right don't let me catch y'all doing stupid shit or you gonna catch my hands all right i don't care if i'm getting if i'm allergic to my own soap i'm gonna still slap you while choking to death all right so with this build right you've got your you've got your koshai's uh ue all right which is going to help increase your damage. But early game, all you want to focus on is dodging. Just dodge. All right. Get your first wound and then go for another one. Dodge. Keep dodging. Now, that was that was a bad example of continuously dodging. But you want to keep dodging. If you die, same same thing applies to, to this build as it does to all other dodge master builds. You will still be completely fine. Okay. Dodge. Now... What you want to do is once you're prepped and ready, please unleash your Tempest, okay? Use your Shrike Zeal to get the additional movement speed. Make sure your Invigorated is triggered. And look, all these Tempest stacks that you have saved up, just dodge the enemy to death. Well, I mean, Tempest strike the enemy to death, but you get the, you, you get the idea. All right, now come on. Come at me, birdie. There you go. 
And one more time. Zap. And we're almost finished. Zap. I literally killed that thing just by dodging and fighting. Okay, now I took some hits there, but that strike was six levels above us. Which means that if you consider my Slayer Path bonuses, now I'm level six with this war pike. If you consider my Slayer Path bonuses and the like, um, y you, you would be the equivalent of fighting a level four creature. All right, so you're going to have fast kill times. No potions involved. So anyone can pick up and just use this. All right. That is why I do these builds. Like, of course, you can use Catalyst. Yes, Catalyst. Great. Fantastic. But I know most players don't have that option available to them. That's why we make builds like this. Okay. And of course, if you... And by the way, please. If you're some moron that says, Oh, my build is better because I use Catalyst. Please don't. Okay, don't make me shame you in front of all of YouTube. I will, okay? All right. Now, same thing applies. Now, this creature is one level below the Shrike from before. So, it'll be a slightly easier kill, okay? What you want to focus on is dodging attacks, as always. Build up. Build up. Now, to get the full effect of this build, right? What you want to do is get a wound first. Before you actually even start your Tempest Rushing, get a wound first. Doesn't matter where you wound, okay? Doesn't matter where you wound. Get the wound first. All right, it should be fairly easy for you to do so. Okay, once you've got a wound, and if even better, if you've also got, um, like, uh, the uh, bullet charged up as well, that's even better. Okay, that helps you tremendously. Now, I like to try and wait till I've got at least four stacks, okay? And then, while my crit is activated i will continuously you know dodge attacks and just use tempest to destroy the behemoth completely and it, like i said if you die you've got a backup you're gonna wound on pretty much every rush so don't underestimate how devastating this is okay although your part damage looks like it's really small keep in mind your part damage is halved because half of it's going to wound damage and your core damage is actually going to be like double and more of what you're seeing that's why this is so effective that's why you can just kill like that all right i barely even fought that entire battle i'm killing them solely with tempest as long as it's an unbroken part you will dish out a lot of damage and that's the key thing that's the key thing <clears throat> that's the key thing to remember what happens if you fight something that's just three levels above you all right let, let, let's go see now this is just one final final little bit <laughs> let's head over to the pangar oh thank god i think the allergy is finally clearing let's head over to the pangar right watch this okay first let's speed race over there hi pangar hi okay as always follow the same principles that i taught you it's the same for every behemoth you want to try and get an early wound more early wounds is even better all right if it does it's roly-poly bullshit that's fine let it do that. But dodge. Start your dodging. As soon as you get the opportunity, dodge, dodge, dodge. Now, it's going to be harder to sap your stamina once you have the effects of A, the rush. But that's okay. That's part, part and parcel of the whole thing. Wait for easy to dodge attacks and build up. Build up. It's okay. Then, once you're about ready, you know what? you know what's coming. Okay, I will usually do something like that. And then I start my rush. Alright. I've got the boost from the dodge. I've got the boost from pretty much everything. Oh, that was a core damage hit. And there you go. Boom. It's done. It's that easy. It's that easy. The Dodge Master series is perfect for learning how to dodge. As well as killing things just by dodging. Boom. I put in like barely an effort in that fight. All right. The reason why these builds are so good right now is because it's really good for learning how to dodge. You get a chance to observe behemoth patterns, learn when your dodges are most effective, and then you kill them by dodging. So you, you barely have to put in any effort in the fight. All right. So if you like this build, construct it, use it. It's very simple and straightforward to use. It has no defense built in. Yes, true. But you can revive yourself and your focus is dodging anyway. So what's the problem, right? Okay, thank you very much for enjoying this video. I hope you guys uh, liked it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You want to keep the channel running? 
We need tips, we need memberships. So send us a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can send super thanks, super chats on YouTube. Join as a channel member. One of the best ways to help us out and help us keep making content is to do that. And right now, I'm actually gonna give thanks to our amazing YouTube members. Uh, let me just head over there right now. I can't wait to get back like to working full time all day. Oh, right now, just doing the afternoons is so not enough, but I will do what I can. Okay, as always, we start with our top fan, Death Downing 982 at Plus Ultra, Steven Martin, Jerry Fast, Joshua Moritz, Rogue Assassin, Old Mr. Cream Puff, Zack Energy, all at Prestige. Fantastic people. Fantastic people. And our honor tier. <laughs> Turtle Dove, Bob John, Nate the Great, Jammer Boy, Grim Reaper 2296, Curtis Shussler, MJ Riffle, Shadow, Corey Ryu, Benjamin Savage, Lady Neo, Anarchy Inc., Greasy Burger, Stefan Geyer, Killer Team Gaming, and Coda CMF. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the Robot Nation. You guys are fantastic. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video.